Hello guys, today I'm gonna explain you about vapor absorption refrigeration. Let me specify the main components at first. Condenser, expansion bulb, evaporator, generator, regenerator, absorber, reducing pump, pump. There are some external component too. Let me specify them. Source of heat can be solar energy or the heat produced from the factories. Heat conductor, heat absorber. Here the refrigerant is the solution of ammonia and water. You must have noticed the arrows carrying delta H. Positive delta H indicates the absorption of heat. Negative delta H indicates the releasing of heat. The circle of ammonia in the generator is bigger than the circle in the absorber. The bigger the circle is, the more ammonia in the solution. You must have seen that the pumps are active, are in the active mode. The pump, this pump is pulling the solution from absorber to the generator through regenerator. This reducing pump is pulling solution from the generator to the absorber through regenerator. While going to the absorber, the solution in this tube is releasing heat in the regenerator. The regenerator is transferring the heat to this tube to send the heat back to the generator. This negative delta H is indicating the heat released from the absorber to the heat absorber. The cycle is not started yet. It will start it will start after the separation of ammonia from the solution in the generator. If the solution in the generator gain minimum separating heat energy, the cycle will be started. Let's so let's start the cycle. The circle has become small which is indicating the loss of ammonia in the solution. This red fog looking thing is indicating the gas of ammonia. This gas will go to the condenser. After that it will go to the expansion bulb in the form of liquid. After that it will go to the evaporator in the form of spray. In the end it will go to the absorber in the form of hot vapor. Let's resume the animation. I guess you have understood what just happened now. This solution is releasing huge amount of heat to the heat absorber. In this solution, amount, the amount of ammonia has raised up. The pump is pulling that solution from absorber to the generator. Let's see what happened if a generator filled with the solution. The solution in the generator has gained the same form as the beginning. It means one cycle has been completed. Just like this, the cycle will be running continuously. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, share and don't forget to subscribe.